2020 Chevrolet Corvette offers a laundry list of firsts for the Corvette, and that includes a new brake system. In this video, we're going to cover Chevy's brake by wire, or eBoost brakes, and then we're going to show you what it takes to swap a set of pads when it comes time. The C8 eBoost unit combines four components, master cylinder, vacuum booster, vacuum pump, and electronic brake control module, all into one single unit. It essentially eliminates the conventional vacuum-based power brake system. That means the system is more space and weight efficient than a traditional brake system. The biggest advantage though is it lets the driver adjust the brakes depending on what mode they put the C8 in. And this particular C8 has already seen plenty of track time. Four autocross events and four track days to be exact. So it's time to put some pads on that and we're going to show you how to do that. This car is a little more difficult than your traditional brake system so we're going to dive in and show you. We're going to start off our brake job by removing these two trim panels on either side and then removing this main trim so we can disconnect the battery and get to the fluid reservoir. So after we've removed the trim panel and gained access to the battery, we're going to disconnect it. Now go ahead and break loose the four T40s that hold in the pads. We're going to go ahead and pull the caliper off now. From GM, the pads are glued to the pistons and they can be a little bit of a bear to get off. So we're going to remove the whole caliper so we can remove them. Before we reinstall our caliper, we're going to want to make sure our pistons are compressed. For this, we use the Astronomatic Brake Caliper Press. We've included the link to this tool in the description. Time to reinstall our caliper. We went ahead and put thread locker on our bolts, and we're going to torque these to GM's recommended spec. We're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of brake lube to all the moving parts in the brake system. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way, so be very, very ungenerous. As you can see, we're installing new brake pads on the C8, but these are just OEM pads. Summit Racing will soon be offering additional aftermarket options for the C8.
Go ahead and install your pad retention pins and then torque them to GM's manufactured spec. Getting your brake pad tension spring pin reinstalled can be a little bit of a bear. The best way I've found to do this is start the pin and then use a small screwdriver to work the tangs on. Once it's installed, make sure to go ahead and check to make sure all four spring corners are contacting the pads. We're going to go ahead and snug it up and then torque it to GM's recommended torque spec. We're all finished up on this side, now we're going to repeat the process on the other side, and then move on to the rear. So now we're ready to jump into the rear brakes on the Corvette. These are a lot simpler than doing the fronts. First, we're going to knock the two brake retention pins out. Using a pair of channel locks, we're going to remove the pin the rest of the way. Make sure to keep track of your brake clip. Next, you're going to want to take a small pry bar and pry the pads away from the rotor. Now that the pads have been pried away from the caliper, you can remove the pads. They'll simply just slide out. As we said before, we're just installing stock GM pads back on the C8, but as soon as aftermarket options become more readily available, Summit Racing will be carrying them. Now we're ready to reinstall our brake pins. We're gonna take a, a little bit of brake lube and just coat the whole pin. We're gonna start with the bottom first. Followed by that pesky brake clip and then the other pin. And we're done. Super, super simple. And you're just gonna wanna repeat this process on the other side. So we've gone ahead and finished up our brake pad install. We're gonna go ahead and bleed the brakes and make sure there's no air in the system. Our C8's already had the brake fluid swap because it's seen some track days. Our C8 brake job is all wrapped up and she's ready for some more track days. The only real question now is, what's stopping you? I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.